guys welcome to frequently asked questions on the pt series okay today i have questions bothering on real estate developers real estate schemes um real estate um investors and all of that so i'm going to be taking um just four questions out of 10 that dropped in so i there's this one that says i got two plots of land from xyz limited for professional reasons i'm not going to mention the name of the company and afterwards they gave me ridiculous bills for statutory documents which is why um which is way sorry above what i paid for the land now i am no longer interested in the transaction i want to pull out and collect my initial money how do i go about it now this is one reason why i always say you cannot buy a land you cannot invest in real estate without getting without getting a lawyer involved it cannot be emphasized over emphasized rather people are just are just used to being penny wise pound foolish but before i dive into that i have the following questions to ask this investor did you get the professional involved did you read the frequently asked questions from of the company did you ask questions did you know the modalities of operation and administrative charges where were you not informed from the first day of transaction first thing first you have to understand that when you pay for a land you have just paid for a land there is really nothing showing that you are the owner of that property until you get your statutory document however the company are they have the responsibilities to tell you that when you have paid for a land, you have to pay this for deed of assignment, you have to pay this for survey plan, and they will have to let you know whether it is a lot survey plan and plan or a provisional survey plan. And then they will also have to let you know if you're going to pay for development fees. If it is fixed, they should let you know the actual amount. If it is not fixed, they should let you know that it is not yet fixed. Now, it is the company's responsibilities to do that, and it is also your duty to ask and be absolutely sure. And that is why you should get a provisional involved. So most companies do have this frequently asked questions from where you read through and know what the transaction is all about what the company does what you what the, that particular um product is really the product that you're paying for what it is all about and then a lot of companies if you're the ones that we work with that we partner with have where you're going to sign the frequently asked person that you have read through you've understood and by doing that it means that when you sign means you 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 are aware because the reason for this is that the company wants to make sure that you understand the transaction and that um, you understand the transaction and that um, you're well abreast of all the information and you agree with the terms and conditions of of, uh, of buying into that estate. I have to also let you know here that the administrative charges when you want to pull out of this kind of transaction and it is subject to the policies of the company. I cannot actually tell you it's this particular percentage, it is that particular percentage. It is subject to what the company actually sells to the public. Now, um, how you can go about this, please just contact your lawyer. Contact your lawyer, that's just the best way out. Now, the second question is, I got to piece of land. Okay, everybody just get into plots of land. From a family friend who is a real estate agent, just last week, I saw a letter pasted on the fence of the property, not addressed to me, but has unknown persons on it. Please, what does that mean and what do I do? Okay, so I don't know why a lot of people actually call this letter, but it is not a letter, it is a court process and you're being sued for trespassing into that property. That is, if that property has issue, if it has communal issue, if it has family issue, or the owner feels, he comes to his property and feels, this is my property, there's somebody that offends it, there's somebody that is using the property, so how do I get it back? And the best bet is for him to go to court. So you have being sued for being on that property so the best deal for you now the best bet for you is to get a lawyer to officially represent you in court in respect of that matter okay so question number three is how genuine are these estates advertised everywhere how can one be absolutely sure the truth of the matter is that i have to tell you the truth and i know most realtors and real estate companies will not like me to say this but it is the truth and nothing but the truth everybody wants to sell even a real estate firm we want to sell so when we market properties we want to sell when realtors market when real estate marketers market properties when agent market properties they want to sell them People want to make money. They want the one commission. That is the truth. Now, it is your responsibility to make sure that the things that you are buying, what you are investing your money into is genuine. And the only way you can be absolutely sure is to get a real estate lawyer involved. It's really important. This cannot be overemphasized. We will agree with me that when there is an original of something, there's always a counterfeit. That is why 
for there to be a fake means there's original so it's not every company out there that is genuine that is the truth of the matter and it is not all the companies that are fake they are genuine ones and then there are even genuine ones that are trying to also push all the products you it is your duty to verify it is your duty to be absolutely sure so you want to be sure that a particular company that is advertising a, an estate land property to you is sure it's genuine, it's not fake. So trying to use your money to do other things, get your lawyer involved, get a real estate lawyer involved. That is just the way, that's just the best way you can go about it. Now, lastly is, is it safe to buy a property that has excision in progress as a title? Is it safe to buy a property that has excision in progress as a title? Now, what first thing for decision in progress is not a title. It is not a title to a property. It is a stage in which the property is in. It, it is in the process of being excised by the government before it is gazetted. So excision in progress is not a title. And then if you buy into excision in progress, it is a 50-50. What the, what the marketers are telling you is that the, what the estate owners are telling you is that we are applying, we are applying to the government to excise this property for us, to excise this um, expanse of land to us. Now, once we are telling you to come and buy into it, now that we are in the process of um, getting that that land approved, now that land does not mean that it's excised by the government. It's in the progress of excision and it may or may not be excised at the end of the day. That is the piece of truth. How will you know if it is going to be excised later in the day or how long does it take, no matter the duration, and how will you know that it will not? The best way to know is to contact your real estate lawyer to do the, the necessary due diligence. Okay, guys, that will be a wrap for me on the Frequently Asked Questions section on PT series. Catch you next time. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section, and I will take them one after the other.